coming up on tonight's show, there are a few things you should never do in life. Run with scissors, discuss politics at a family dinner, and sub out Cristiano Ronaldo before a game is over. We discuss tonight. We also ask whether Ernesto Valverde was right to not start Lionel Messi. And we ask whether goal celebrations should be a freedom of expression. We welcome the panel tonight. We welcome Christian Vieri back. <laughs> we missed you, Christian. Are you feeling better? Yeah. Good, good that hamburger was horrible. <laughs> now, before we begin, February 5th is a big day for footballer birthdays. Neymar's 26 today, and Cristiano Ronaldo is 33. Wow. wow. They're not the only ones as well. It's Tevez's birthday. Right. So many footballers celebrate their birthday today. So Beautiful. we would like to say happy birthday to two of the big yep. stars on the leagues that we carry, wow. Cristiano Ronaldo and Neymar. Cristiano Ronaldo was not too happy when he was subbed off in the 82nd minute against Levante, though. Now, it's not unusual to see a coach taking off a forward when there is a lead to protect. So we're asking, what was wrong with this one? Isco had just scored. It made it 2-1. A minute later, he was taken off. He wasn't too happy. You can see his reaction. He had just walked past Zinedine Zidane. Now... He's walking to the bench, and what happens, as you can expect, is the cameras focus in on Cristiano Ronaldo when this game's still going. He's not too happy about that. The lip readers have been out. They said that he said, look, don't focus on me, focus on the game. The game's still being played. Leave me alone, basically. Yeah, they're Why winning at this point. Why Real Madrid are winning the They are at winning this point. at this point. So he's all so snails right now. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, he looked sharp in the, in the early parts of the game, um, so I don't think fitness was an issue. Um, and it wasn't as if he was having an absolute storm and startling game. He was playing well, well enough, um, and coach's decision, I guess, you know. Um, but with him, it's very, very hard to take your, your top goal scorer off, your best player. Why, why, would you, why, why would you do it, Ray? That's what I can't get. Because he was asked afterwards, Dan, he said it was tactical. So you're right, it, right. Wasn't, it wasn't fitness. So if you're telling me that taking Cristiano off is a clever decision when he's the best players in the world. I mean, if you want to take a striker off, maybe take Benz off. But why take either off? Go and win well, it 3-1. Sure. Why defend? And I'm just wondering, would you take Messi off last 10 minutes to defend a lead? Would you take Neymar off last 10 minutes to defend a lead? I wouldn't. Bobo, you, you want to say something? Listen, I can tell. Uh, we're talking about this because then Pazzini scores in the 89th minute. Because if they would have won 2-1, no one would have said anything. That's how, that's how football is. Uh, he, he wanted to take Ronaldo off. Why? Well, but because he, maybe he goal. thought that... He was tired or something. But I don't know, because I'm here with you guys. I, I'm not <laughs> in Madrid. <laughs> but I'm just saying, there's nothing wrong with taking someone off. It, it didn't look as if he had much of an objection either on the bench. What's, he what's was wrong? pretty much okay with I the played a game. I it. played a game. Okay. I, won, I lost the Scudetto. Last game mm. of the season. We're in Lazio in Rome playing. We were losing. Cooper takes Ronaldo off. He didn't seem. He didn't seem in good form. So what's the problem? Boy? Gone coach, what do you there is. I don't know who said it. It might have been K. Insanity. What is? What is? What is insanity? Doing the same thing over and over and over again. All right. And Four games. And expecting a different result. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Celta, it's Celta. <clears throat> two one. Two two. Takes two attacking players out as well. All right. And and tells his team basically by making those substitutions. You're telling your team from a mental standpoint. We're going to sit back. We're going to hang on. And you know what the other team is saying? They're a wounded animal. We'll go after them. So it's the wrong message to send. Three times now, they've lost leads late in games because I think he made yeah. the wrong decision. Ronaldo, his presence alone, he can dribble. He can draw fouls. He still has pace to get behind Agreed. people. Yep. Opponents will respect yep. him. You need to yep. keep him on the field. Listen, yeah. if, we, if we really want to give any coach credit, we need to give the Levante coach, Muniz, some credit because what he did, he went against basically everything that Thomas is saying there. He puts in three attacking players. Okay, but he's losing, right? That's right. He's putting in three attacking players. Yeah. But but that, that wonderful chutzpah to go out and actually yeah. chase the game and recognising that, that three forwards are coming in, maybe he's been trying to play, you know, well, if they're going with an all-out attack, maybe I'll pull in one of my guns and yeah. put in are a we, different player. Are we may be looking at, at the wrong thing. I mean, I know it's important, Ronaldo, but... What about the defending for the equalising goal? You got Marcelo and Carvajal weren't even around. Right. You got Varane on his own here. I mean, it, it, and also for the first goal here. Look great at this. Ball. Great it's ball. It's a great Gary. ball. But, but where's Ramos on this? Navas I mean, saves it's, first time. And then Ramos stands Ramos. behind the goalkeeper exactly. instead of getting to the side. To so, the left side, yes. So I'm just questioning the defending of Real Madrid more than the strikers. Yeah. Yeah. Go well. They're up they've twice been horrible. Two the whole well. year they've been horrible. Defensively. Yeah. Everyone. Everyone. Everyone in this team. 
So it's a bad year for them. Whatever they do, everything goes bad. But you score players twice, are, you want to I keep know, a clean players sheet. Players are playing horrible. Know. They're getting yeah. conceding goals so easy. Look, here's the goal I'm talking about in the dying no, minutes. I know, I know. There's no Carver Hall around. There's no Marcelo around. The thing is, guys, Gee. you know, it, they've got one more game, one more dress rehearsal yep. before they get yep. to the PSG game, which is their entire season. It's mm. their cup. They're the champions of the world. They're the champions of Europe. This is not the way to go in to face PSG. So, so this next game, the next game coming up yeah. on being sports at the weekend, Crucial. huge game. So with them. that in mind, PSG, all tensions are turning to PSG right now. Mm. This was Clastus's gala 11. Right. First time he'd been able to play this 11 this season. And not ever. 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 Yeah, because of obviously injuries and yep. players not being available at the time. And it was seen by many and thought to be Zidane's Gala 11, whether everyone agrees with that, it was seen to be a side that's probably the most effective sure. in what he's trying to get. Is that the 11 that he's going you know to what, go with against PSG? I think so. It was, it was the Gala 11 last year. It still is, but that's the problem for me. I was looking, every, every other club in the, in the European Champions League have strengthened. You can name any club, Barcelona board players, Chelsea board players, Man United. Every single club has bought, I'm talking about big name players, lots of money being spent, except for Real Madrid. So last year's Gala 11, Shouldn't be this year's. You should have a new face, a new something. And this this team is, to me, not a god. It's the, a top player. I still, it's, it's I still think that this team could could win against PSG. Not easily. This but you eleven. Know what? This starting eleven. They, they, yes, absolutely. Because this starting eleven last year was by far the best in the world. So yeah, they didn't make any improvements. Well, but if was they in could get there, a lot of last year though. Yeah, but still, this was the choice. So, yeah. He came in because Bale was injured That's at times, right. and he came off the bench. But out of a four-three-three playing that right side, not in out of a four-four-two in Modric and, and Isco. Not to com complain, but I think that in big games, PSG plays in the league on. What have they? They have not played in big, big games, and I don't know if PSG can raise their level. And I think Madrid, known out of the Copa Rolle, La Liga, this is our only chance, and they will come but like, and they will like perform. Gary says, what PSG have done, they have strengthened mm -hmm. from that game from yeah. last year, and that part of it's going to be more yeah. interesting. The goal, it, it's, the, it's the it's a real stick to to Ronaldo now. We've seen him in these situations yeah. before yeah. where he's been mourning. People are saying he shouldn't have responded that way. He he does it his way. He's completely unique. And really? now we'll see. He'll, I think he'll answer against Real Sociedad next weekend and then PSG. Eight minutes to That's the fine. end it took him off. Right. Eight minutes to the no end. No big deal. Eight minutes, not 80 minutes. Right. Eight uh, minutes. Well, in contrast to Ronaldo's weekend, Barcelona's star player was subbed on because Lionel Messi oh didn't start it's against the Espanyol. It's everyone. It's <laughs> Another <laughs> game that ended <laughs> in a draw. It's uh, everyone. We were talking about him being rested on Friday's mm. show. Was this the correct decision by Ernesto Valverde? I would have rest rest him last week. I would have rest him this week. And to the PSG, and to the Chelsea game. Yeah. Rest, let him rest. He's played and 65 under, games already. Under these conditions as well, this is when it was good. The pitch wasn't bad. It was yeah. bad enough. Uh, Coutinho, a brilliant little piece of football here. And that should have uh, been a goal, but unlucky. But it, the conditions worsened terribly. Yeah. And it looked like a good decision by Valverde yeah. to, less, uh, to rest the number yeah. 10. Plus, plus it, they're so far ahead in the league, they right. can't afford to rest. And Real Madrid right. on a, a bad, a bad time and are playing well. Yep. They're struggling. Gary, they need to get wins to get confidence up. Ronaldo's 33, Messi's 30. Sometimes they've got to rest. Too many sure. games. They've got big games coming sure. up in a week, sure. 10 days. Let's keep them fit for those That's games. Fine. If Just they come off 10, 15 minutes, but no one's going to die. Since Nothing's January 4th through February 20th, when they play Chelsea, they play 16 games in 46 days. It's a game every three days. Mm. Almost impossible. And Ray's absolutely right. You look at this field here, and Barca with the passing game, going through the yeah. spine, we call that, yeah. okay, the axis always, and that's where the water is. This game would have been two games, Rocky, you know that, yeah. in your legs for a player coming totally. off. So, yeah, smart it, thing to do. And I'm sure that Messi and Valverde are on the same line with this one, which is, which it, is awesome. It, it, amazing, though, when Messi got into this swimming pool of a football pitch, because that's what it was. Yeah. It was surfing out there. Uh, he was still amazing. He was, dribbling wasn't through he? the, wasn't the water. He? And that and, water. Uh, the attitude is what I'm talking about. Not just because he's Messi and he's a brilliant player. But the attitude to go into that sort yeah. of uh, uh, the derby, which was nasty, there was a broken bottle edge about it that we'll talk yeah. about soon. It was an incendiary game, nasty, yeah. and to bring Leo in off of the bench 
and look yeah. for that response. He a was game like tremendous. that, Iniesta, Busquets, and Messi, I, I keep him on the bench. I keep him at home. Yeah, you relax, even, play them. Them. even though they were losing. Uh, but just, they, they okay. can afford to because they're so far ahead in the league. I agree with you. Yeah, yeah, even, yeah, even, yeah, what are they, 11, uh, but more, even 11 if points clear of the next Even if they're tied. Yeah. You can't make them play every game because you're going to get said, injured, you're going to have problems. But you've you got to pick, you don't, you, you don't leave them out against Espanyol away. Do not leave them out against Girona at home or something. Games where you can win a bit same. easier. This was always going to be, as you said, it's going to be a really Was there a chance yeah. as well wow. for him to see how Coutinho fares in Messi's absence? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's a good standing. The best player on the park still was Iniesta. Absolutely radiant display in those conditions where you, you wouldn't send ducks out onto that field. I, I thought that there might be a chance Barca, that it got uh, 17 postponed. goals scored in the last 10 minutes. Yeah, that, it's almost like Real Madrid like from from last year. 23 woodworks, by the way. Just giving you some facts here right now. Um, Titi out for the next game. PK two to four weeks. Vermalen out. Yeah. They might have. A problem centrally in yeah. the next four or five right. weeks. Jerry Mina, Jerry Mina's debut. Let's play yeah. Messi in defence as well. I'm sure he'll manage. <laughs> All right, still to come. Should goal celebrations like PKs at the weekend be a freedom of expression? We'll look back on the Super Bowl and we'll bring you the weekend's top goals too. Stick around. You're watching the locker room. Welcome back to the locker room on the pitch dentistry. Players obsessing fans and own golathos. Yes, own golathos. All of that is coming up on What Were You Thinking? Kick us off, Thomas Rangan. I will, and this is the first goal of the game. Al Jazeera won 3 1. But Al Dafra, defender Yasser Abdullah Al Yunbendi. <laughs> scores an own goal, and what a cracker that one is. In the Arabian Gulf League, by the way, Bob, but you will be coaching okay, next suspended year. suspended five but years. On, <laughs> look at this, look at this. What's his name again, look Thomas? He's trying to tackle. Whoa! No, but say his name, man. It's a Yasser Abdullah al Yumbaydi. <laughs> <laughs> Golatho, an own Golatho there. Oh, Gary Dafra. Bailey, what have you got for us? I've got this incredibly dangerous tackle here. This is in the 79th minute, Espanyol against Barca, Sergio Garcia and Omtiti. He lunges in from three yards are Ooh. feet up and it's only a yellow referee seriously only a yellow when three, months. three months three months exactly. months exactly three months i agree with you that's horrendous tackle if that had connected that would have broken on tt's leg have yes. a look at it again oh. foot up slides in karate tackle and foot up studs, on the studs these, up <sighs> gary wow. these referees are disgusting these these spanish yep. referees are horrible come on man it's a derby <laughs> Referee, <laughs> what were you thinking? Ray, what have you I'm got only for kidding. us? Uh, I don't know what who was thinking here. This is <laughs> Neto. Uh, it comes out and goes through uh, the, the wonderful Godin and pulls out like three of his teeth. Goes down, terrible. They were fighting like dentists and manicurists all game long, these two, <laughs> tooth and nail. But this one, Neto, comes right into Godin, and he's going to be out there for a number of weeks. Uh, his pearly whites are gone now. Uh, dental surgery this week. You what think was he thinking, Neto? Christian. Look at Griezmann. What are these fans thinking? Atletico, what are you... They're winning 1-0 at home, yep. he has the ball, and they want a counter-attack. <laughs> right. <laughs> what, what do you think? They Just want, hold the ball. Yes. They want entertainment, it, don't if they? You, if you lose the ball, you're going to get the 1-1, one, one, then they're going to get a stop. So just <laughs> take it easy. Greece so man, what were you, you thinking the right to thing? the fans? Well, this is set. PK, and we're wondering what who was thinking, what the fans or PK. We'll ask you guys, because after being booed for the entire match by Espanyol fans, who else but PK would pop up with this lace equaliser? So he shushes the fans, bringing a finger to his lips. Basically, they gave it to him, so he gave it back. So it leads us to our next topic. Should goal celebrations be a freedom of expression? No, you can't, Kay. You can't have uh, players doing anything they want. You can have them doing this, but you can't have a freedom of expression. No, I mean, wait, 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 what, wait, wait. What, what, what are Kay some is of the asking is not, not with the rule state. Yeah. Would you like to see players' no. freedom of expression? What if Absolutely. they do a Nazi, what if they do a Nazi salute well, like, we or don't, something? We don't. You can't okay, have that. So, okay, so that's, that's, well, that's racism. Well, are you saying it's racism? racism no, but he's shushing. No, there's nothing incendiary. And by the way, Gary, the Espanol fans were calling for Shakira to be murdered, basically. And yeah, really. I mean, a lot of his. They were shouting about his son uh, as well death threats about his son yeah. so, so what does he do he rises up scores the winner on a fabulous header and just does this 
Yeah. But Ray, there's so nothing but incendiary about that. The question, the that's the question is, can Ray. you do anything? All over no, the it's world, not so much. They, okay. They, they, if they say something about your family, that's okay. It's nothing sure. bad. Sure. But what they, can they, you do? They back? destroy. You don't do back nothing. Exactly. What, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? There was a column, in, a column in, in Spain point. today. A column in Spain today said you'll get a yellow card if you celebrate with your own fans, but if you incite the opposition fans, nothing usually yeah. happens to I you. Don't know. Well, so that that was one of the ways of thinking. The other thinking yeah. is that if you are a fan and you pay your money. You can say what you like. No, they can't. But it's on the there. ticket that you that's buy. That's on the ticket. Yes. Uh, really? So well, it's not where are we going with this? If the fans can give it to yeah, the players right. and scream things like that, yeah. are they the allowed to get upset political political when PK yeah. shushes them back? Undertone, sure. okay. You told me that. The political mm. undertone oh, political with the team with that PK one. started as well. Although he, he's probably correct because geographically, uh, they're in, in Cornelia, so they're not, you know, For sure. so he's right, yeah. uh, maybe not. No, maybe. It was, it, Whatever. It, so he's know, just The maybe highest part of it, Thomas, if he had no said problem. nothing, but just run to the fans. But after scoring the equaliser like yeah. that, and it would be him that was getting the his family getting filth thrown at him all game long. And the response, I'm no bubble. I played 25 years. The same things, the same things they say to you. Your mother, your father, your girlfriend, everyone. So what would you do? So what, I'm going to start crying? What would you do to Griezmann, by the way? The fans do what they want. They say what they want. Like this, it walks away. Firstly, you ignore it. Secondly, you can't go in the crowd and celebrate with your fans, because why? They all reach down to grab you, and someone gets crushed. It's dangerous. So you have a duty as a player. Look, I hear you. This, for me, is not a problem. No. But there's limits to what of you course. can sure. do. And in some matches, like Rangers, Celtic sure. and Scotland, where it's religious, you'll cause people's deaths right. if you're not careful. So, so obviously, that's, just, that's nowhere near was, that what PK No, it was, no. It yeah. was in, within limits. He was pushing yeah, it a exactly. little bit. And in a game like that, in the atmosphere yeah. like that, you he can understand. He didn't say anything. He, he just went like that. That's right. nothing. Right. Right. Exactly. But I'm so just saying, so the fans... Do you think it would be stupid to punish him for that? Of course. Yeah. But in Spain, did they... Did you shush the fans ever, Christian? Yes, I shushed the fans and lost the game. What about the... <laughs> 202, I remember. Yeah. But did yeah, you but do you this as well? Yeah. 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 No, I did this. I did this. Oh, okay. yeah. Then they, they went 2 1, and they were, I, don't, I, I could under, they, was, they were telling me to F off in Italian. <laughs> the Koreans! <laughs> no. It was crazy. And you broke the guy's nose yeah. and then he went like yes, this. No, because yeah. he anticipated yeah. me once. Yeah. Yeah. I said, Where are you going? You've got to stay behind me. <laughs> are you sure you use this finger and not the other one to do that? No, it was this one here. And then he anticipated me again. I just put my elbow, broke his nose. I went to see his nose. It was all chopped up. I said, Oh my God. You have, you have to be careful, like as a goalkeeper, they throw they yes. throw bottles at you. You can't pick up the bottle and throw it. The moment you do that, you're in big trouble. You have to take a lot as a player. You have to just get on with and it. So you it have is. to be careful how you respond. But this is not it's a nothing. problem. Did that you score many, nothing. Thomas Rungan? Sorry? No. Did you score many goals? None. Well, yeah, I scored <laughs> zero. I scored Maybe a few. Training, training, back in the old days, right? Yeah, yeah, in, yeah. in Fort Worth. Uh, what would you go to celebration? 60% females, by the way. I Shirt swear. up, everything, tattoos. <laughs> Here we go, baby. So <laughs> Only if, three goals. If, if, your players, though, if your players took their shirts off, did it used to annoy you? No. With the fact they got The game is enjoyment. It's expression. It's personality. It's part of that. Don't kill that. Please, don't not. question. They get, booked. they get booked. So surely you don't want them to take their shirt off and get booked for nothing? Because a minute you know later, then this time, attack. I, I, I want to go to a soccer game and I want to enjoy but when somebody scores and expresses himself. But it's a Just like I want Messi to be somewhat protected, quite frankly, when he gets hammered. It's a as dumb well. rule. You take your shirt off, you get booked. Yeah, yeah. But, but it's a rule. Have, yeah. But have fun, but relax. No, exactly the guys up, up at the top, the federations, relax, guys. There you enjoy. go. Enjoy. Go with a nice view. You play within the rules. The last oh, thing you want, you take your shirt off. I drink know, a Moscow Mule. Now, who was it? Diego Costa did that, didn't he? He got a second yellow for taking his shirt off. Drink a Moscow Mule. Mule. Have fun, guys. How dumb is that? All yeah. right, quick round Let's the table because Mules. it's neck right. and neck still in the Serie A Who's between neck neck? Napoli and Juventus. Juventus won 7-0 at the weekend. Ray, are you still sticking with your Napoli? Absolutely. I'm not going to turn away from them. Neapolitans, I love them. I love them. Now, one man who's been on the <laughs> fence all season and keeps... Going this way or the other is actually Christian Vieri. You're like a flag, <laughs> like a flag flying one way then Bandera. another. The last five games are going to decide. Now it's easy. The last five games, people are going to start, not going to start. They're going to stop sleeping. They're going to stop eating. <laughs> they're going to have mental problems. They're going to be scared. <laughs> the psychiatrists are coming in the dressing rooms. Yeah, right. Last five games. Last five games. So you're still sitting on the fence. Thomas Rungan. I, I stayed with Juve. Uh, <laughs> Napoli has to prove to me they can beat yep. Juve home and away. And they can't. And because of what Christian says, Juve, because they've been there, they've done it, they will not lose any sleep. I'm we'll still lose going this for Napoli week with you, Ray. Yeah, that, that's whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> we'll that's, see a that one. that's a hard game. And we'll be back here on the locker room on Friday, same time, same place. But before we go, we'll be bringing you our top goals when we return here, so stick around.
ways, new wave, dance craze, anyways, they're still top goals to <laughs> me. <laughs> oh. Bit of mini oh. and a little Sousa to start things off today for you. Christian Vieri has picked this one from Milan's game against Udinese. This is the best goal of the last 10 Ooh. years. 35 meters. What a strike, Mr. Suzo. Wow. Great pick, Bobo. Great, great pick. Great, great, great Gattuso. Gary Bailey. Yeah, this is important. You know why? Because it's the equalizer against the mighty Real Madrid by Pazzini on his debut in the, what is it, two minutes from time. It's just the enormity of the goal, the way they took it, the way they beat what's meant to be a top, top class defense. Ray. Look at this Ooh. for a straight, a wonder straight. The only goal of the game, but what a goal. Asso, 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 bombasso from Angel Correa. Absolutely world class. Brilliant straight. Thomas Rongen. That's my Argentinian boy right there that will make the difference against Real Madrid. Lo Celso. Give me some Argentinian salsa, baby. What a great chip. What a beautiful mm. technique. Mm. And what great understanding of what's going on. Yeah. Good now, choice. This guy's name is Loren Moron, but it's spelled Moron. Anyway, it wasn't such a moronic decision to play him by Kike <laughs> Setien. This was one of two goals on his debut for Betis, a wonder strike. He'd scored 16 for Betis B, so he got his chance with the first team and scored two goals. Imagine being a coach Betis. with him in your locker room. Hey, moron! <laughs> All right. <laughs> I want more of that. <laughs> All right, to wrap off the show tonight, the Eagles defeated the Patriots in Super Bowl 52. Ray Hudson called it. Yes! Yep. It was a brilliant, brilliant finale to the NFL season. Christian Vieri's not too happy, though, because that's his man, Tom Brady. There he is. What a player. Even if they lost the game, what a fantastic team, man. What a quarterback. There's a good loser. <laughs> game, though, wasn't it, right? it was a magisterial game it, and it congratulations to Philadelphia Eagles fly Eagles fly baby yeah. Justin he, Timberlake by the way 28 songs you're getting halftime all my prints really wow. Wow. unbelievable oh wow. you watch it Gary I did loved it I didn't get the draw that I predicted and now you did it <laughs> no you overtime did but I loved I loved everything about it and, and always good to see the question for you guys no, okay genetically the best power couple in the world right now one place for the Eagles and one oh, score yes, against yes. Denmark. Zaka, uh, the Earth's yeah, family, that's baby. True, that's true. Great stuff seeing that Earth. as well. I don't know Make you sure you so, stick around with us here on Being Sports. Plenty coming up for you. <laughs> Kevin Egan is off to Orlando to cover the U.S. presidential elections from February 9th and 10th. He'll be live there. Make sure you tune in with us to catch everything that you need to know on all that's going on up in Orlando. Not boring, gonna gonna see this thing here. <laughs> no, he'll be happy to do that one, don't you worry. He is our US soccer expert, is Kevin Egan. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. We will be back next time, same time, same place. See you then.